Hello, this is Anthony Rodamonti with Cobbly Controls. Today I'll be uh, giving you an introduction to EtherCAT PDOs. So here's a chart I made, um, and it shows the difference uh, between receive PDOs and transit PDOs. Those verbs are uh, drive-centric, so the drive is receiving needs from the master, and these are commands, these are PDOs. And the TPDOs are transmitted by the drive to the master, giving feedback. Um, all the PDOs are going to be loaded into these two objects, 1C12 and 1C13, uh, respectively RPDO information and TPDO information. So uh, these are EtherCAT protocol uh, standard objects. So um, the they both have the same layout in terms of uh, their uh, basic structure here. So um, they each have one line only for the fixed PDOs, and this is a high priority line. What that means is that the drive's firmware already knows the contents of these fixed PDOs, so they're handled at a higher priority because they're really meant to be. Uh, I guess actually first I should start out with what is a PDO. PDOs are uh, cyclic data. So it's data that's transmitted uh, at a very fast uh, interval um, based on the uh, based on the uh, sync pulse and it's uh, EtherCAT is a uh, polling network so uh, there all these uh, PDOs are being polled by the master. And uh, so the fixed PDO, uh, this, so this is all cyclic data, right? So these are all, see the C in all of these? There's, it's cyclic modes of operation. Um, so <clears throat> you have one fixed PDO line, which means that per axis, you only get one uh, fixed PDO. So you could have axis A uh, choosing this uh, 1700 being in CSP mode. And then you could have axes B of a multi-axis drive uh, could be in CST mode. So that's allowed. Um, you could also have combinations. So uh, we also have non-fixed PDOs. Okay. So, uh, well, let's go back to the fixed real quick. Um, one uh, caveat is uh, if you have, like I was talking about with multi-axis drives, um, if you had uh, axes B in, let's say, CST mode, you would want to uh, load 1742 uh, because uh, you give an offset of hex 40 uh, per axis as you go. Um, so, uh, so 1742 would be for axis B for this PDO. Uh, and so if I had uh, uh, three axes and I wanted to load um, CSV mode, uh, the fixed PDO for CSV mode for the third axis, it would be 1781 because I'm adding 40, hex 40 twice. Um, so that's a little note. Um, these are the non-fixed PDOs. You get eight of them per drive, so it's not per axis. So there's no increment using these. You don't use a 40 increment here. Um, and they are empty and you load them with uh, any objects that you want. Um, so I should say any object that is able to be mapped. Um, and yeah, so let's just go to, uh, so to sum this up, uh, eight non-fixed PDOs shown here. Uh, they're mappable and they're only eight per drive. Uh, and then for the fixed, they handle the higher priority because the firmware knows the contents of these. Um, and they're fixed because that means that they're they're not mappable. So you cannot change the contents of these uh, fixed PDOs. Uh, you can only pick one uh, per axis, and you can't edit them. Okay. So uh, not to beat a dead horse, but uh, yeah, if you if you do edit a uh, fixed PDO, you get a ton of errors. Um, because the firmware expects it to have contents um, that you changed. So, um, so let's go uh, to a uh, let's go to page twenty-five. I just know the page numbers here. Okay. Um, 
scroll down a little bit. Oh, here we go. 25. So um, I'm in the Can Open Programmers Manual. You can find it if you just go to, uh, you know, help uh, all documents and, and you'll find it there. <clears throat> um, here's a little bit more information on the PDO contents. Uh, like I said, these are the non-fixed and they're empty and you fill in uh, with uh, objects that you want to map. And then uh, here we have uh, the fixed PDOs. Uh, you pick one of these per axis. And so the contents um, of these are uh, cannot be changed, but here here's the contents. So, um, yeah. A uh, little added note. Um, so let's go to a uh, random uh, page and just select an object. So 135. Here, um, okay, here's a good example. The maximum slippage profile velocity mode, uh, it's transmit and receive. That means that we can map it to either transmit or receive uh, PDO. So that's good. Um, and uh, read and write access uh, is reflective of that. Um, so 60 F8, that's the index. So that's what's gonna be loaded into the you know, any of these uh, non-fixed PDOs. But let's say that I want, um, let's say that I want the um, third axis of a drive, and I want to get the maximum slippage of the third axis. Then I have to use an offset again of uh, 800 this time. So for objects, um, so let's use the position tracking window time instead, actually. 60, 86, uh, 60, 68. So for objects, um, for can open objects, you're just going to add 800 um, for different axes. So for axes A, this is correct, 60, 68. But for axes B, the index is actually going to be 6868. Fraxy C, 7068. So, uh, yeah, Fraxy C, 7068. So, um, yeah, so that's um, how the adding 800 will, will work um, for multi axis drives, <clears throat> that offset. Uh, just to go back to the um, original. <clears throat> page here um, yeah so you can have a mix and a, a combination of of these um, you can select uh, depending on if you need an object and you see it in a fixed PDO you can map that fixed PDO and you can still use um, these to include any other objects that you need um, and um, Yeah, so the uh, there's there's also uh, for for more information, I'll get into more technical detail on how to map these um, specifically, but uh, I'll be referencing the uh, Trio Copley guide. Uh, Trio is a motion controller uh, for EtherCAT, uh, and it's specifically uh, for motion control. Um, there are a lot of EtherCAT masters out there, um, but this uh, Trio really does a great job uh, with uh, performance. So. I made a Trio Copley configuration guide. Uh, it's online. Uh, you can get it at uh, Copley Controls. You go to um, you know, Support, General Resources, Applications Notes, and you scroll down to Trio Copley configuration guide. Um, and yeah, it has a nice uh, description and uh, it shows the the more detailed um, the more details into how to map these uh, PDOs. So um, yeah, so I hope this was helpful, and um, thank you very much.